guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. You know, we're spending a lot of time talking about mobile gaming. And one of the big questions that comes to mind is, are there any real negative consequences to yeah, mobile gaming? You know, you think about it, and it's great. It's mobile. You can go anywhere. It's mobile. It's, so easy, it's gaming. Right? But uh, one of the things is you're using it all the time. Yeah, like while you're driving down the road in traffic. And uh, you never get any I would never done. do that. Oh, well, okay, that's true. But, Kevin, <laughs> what about productivity with mobile gaming? Yeah, it's really hurt productivity. You know, if you actually plot the growth in casual and social gaming over the last, four, you know, four years, five years, on mobile devices, <laughs> and then you also, you also plot the economic downturn, in North America. <laughs> um, I that's, see where you're that's going. That's kind of what happens. You think that was it, the intersection right there's there? There's a little bit of an intersection. You know, it, it, it kind of comes back to guns don't kill people, people kill people. But mobile gaming is this easily accessible thing, or mo gaming on mobile is easily accessible, and we all fall to it. And some people can fight it and others just give in. I would say the correlation does not equal causation. <laughs> Post hoc. Because at the same time with mobile gaming, Look, I try Reddit to justify it. Too, All so. I know is I don't spend a lot of time gaming on consoles or trying new games. It's just too much work, right? Too much time. But I get hooked on mobile games and then I can kill it weekend. It's like, just I'm, about it's, your lack of self-discipline. I'm know, the right? opposite. I, I enjoy mobile games, but I have a... I don't want to say a short attention span. I just have a short interest span. I just can't get into. I can't get addicted to games. What's your high score on Temple? Man? I don't. I couldn't tell you. Four. See, I didn't stop until I had like five million or whatever. See, this sounds like an OCD. Thing. We, we've like, got to get Kevin some help. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just really play did. it because. Maybe if any of you out there know of a way yeah. to get Kevin yeah. some help, that'd be great. Would you I, hear tweet him. I worry about this with my kids. And it's, it's not the same sort of mobile hardcore gaming, but my kids know how to use an iPad. They know how to use an iPhone. They know how to use my phones. And they have their own little handheld gaming thing, so not quite mobile in the same sense that we're talking about. But you're teaching this behavior from an early age, and to be honest, it worries the hell out of me sometimes. Children have an amazing grasp of mm -hmm. video games. I mean, they, they pick it up so yeah. early and now. And when you start using it as a babysitter, and I right. do that, let's be honest, I mean, it's real easy you know, to yeah. do that. They do a lot of psychological testing on some companies are famous for hiring psychologists who try to addict you to their game, so they, mm -hmm. they measure where people level off and then they try to add an incentive for the game. So it's almost run like a casino. They want your attention locked and paying and... I'm a sucker. So yeah. maybe it's just a challenge for human beings to increase their discipline, right? Yeah, I mean, why is it their fault that I want to play this game? I, Kevin mentioned Jetpack Joy. I think that is a perfect example of a casual game. I can pick it up, I can play it for 30 seconds, I can right. play it for 30 minutes, and they do a really good job of keeping you not immersed, because you can still put it up and pick it down, but keeping it interesting for days and weeks at a time. So Renee almost cost me like an eight-year relationship. <laughs> Luckily, I've come through it. You know, I'm engaged. But um, seriously, it was like last summer. Yeah. On a Friday afternoon, and I'm heading to the cottage for the weekend, to the cabin for the weekend, for a nice relaxing time, being disconnected. Like I'm literally, not how this like, is starting. like oh, literally, God. there's no cellular connectivity there. So I'm like, okay, I'm not even gonna have a phone that works. However, he's like, like Kevin, Sid Meier's Pirates just came to the iPad. <laughs> Take this with you. So, so I charge up my iPad because I don't use it that often, but I have one. So I charge it up, I download Sid Meier's Pirates, and I take it to the cabin. Sid Meier's Pirates, that was the first game I ever played on a Tandy 2 2000. Like my earliest gaming <laughs> memory is Pirates. And I literally played this game all weekend long. And then on the Saturday evening, we were supposed to go out for dinner. So my fiance, she gets ready, she's you know getting ready to go. She's been ready for like literally hours. I'm still sitting there playing a game and she thinks we're you know, still going out. And then by the time I put the game down, all the restaurants are closed. In town. Oh. It's cottage country, right? Everything's closed. Flips out on me. <laughs> we don't get into fights wow. often. This was literally in the car, yelling at each other, drive me back to the city because it's over. Wow. All because you <laughs> take your iPad know, to dinner. But this is to download pirates. Have you ever done anything to almost lose a relationship <laughs> with these mobile games? We want to hear it all. Definitely leave us a comment so you can have the conversation with the Mobile Nations team. That's right. We'll see you next time. Bye.